we're going to take a look at um, just a few of the very basic ways to look at proteins on Malview. So malview.org. And it always starts here with caffeine, um, but I'm going to look at myoglobin today, which is found in our muscles. Um, so you can see here that I can select it, and it's going to give me the protein structure for it. Um, if you hold down with your mouse, you can spin this around, and you can see that the purple is the protein portion of this um, myoglobin. And then in the center here, the ball and stick piece, this is a heme with an iron in the middle. This is the um, non-protein portion of myoglobin. Um, so a few different ways you can play with this to look at it besides rotating. Um, remember the blues are nitrogen, grays would be carbon. Um, this would be an iron here in the middle, red is oxygen. Um, if I go over here into the um, model, um, I can change um, how the center is looking. Um, and then protein is where you can have some fun. So we're looking at a ribbon diagram, that's what you'll see in your textbook. Um, but we can also use this um, other way of visualizing our proteins. Um, so that was called the cylinder and plates. Um, you can also switch back to ribbon here, okay? And right now we're looking at secondary structure. So in this protein, all we have is alpha helices, which are purple. Um, but if I look at a potassium channel instead, um, you can see that there's purple alpha helices and then these blue flat ribbons, those are the beta sheets or the beta pleated sheets. Um, so in secondary structure, you get the purples and the blues for those two um, portions of the protein. Another thing um, you can do is you can do spectrum, which is just going to put every um, coil into a different color, which could help you count them or see them here. Um, continuing, I can also color by chain. So if I color by chain, if this is all yellow, that means that if I unraveled this, I would have one yellow polypeptide. Um, and to see the contrast of that, here's the potassium. And if I color it by chain, now I can see that there's two subunits to this protein. Um, the green would unravel, it's not bound to the yellow, it's just intermolecular forces holding them together. And then yellow would be a separate polypeptide. So it would be quaternary structure that holds these, or the whole thing together would be quaternary structure, and it would be held together by some of those attractions that hold quaternary structures together. Um, here's hemoglobin, which is related to myoglobin, but larger. Um, you can see it's only got the alpha helices in it, and if I um, draw it with this chain, then I can see that there are not one, not two, but four total different polypeptides um, in the quaternary structure here. Um, other things that we can look at, um, let me go back to myoglobin because it's small. We can look with a residue view, and here each color would represent a different amino acid. I don't find this very helpful except to show that there's a lot of different amino acids here. Um, another view you can take is polarity. So red is going to be polar and um, side chains, and then gray is going to be nonpolar side chains. Um, you might notice that the reds tend to be on the surface of these globular proteins and the grays full, um, point more towards the center. Remember that water would be on the outside of these globular proteins, um, and so the red side chains are attracted to those. Um, let me just show you one more thing here. So I'm going to go back to secondary structure. And this is just showing, again, secondary structure coiled up into tertiary structure, right? But there are side chains um, coming off of all these helices. And so if I do this structure, or this picture, so again, that was into protein and bonds here. Um, now they're gone, and now they're back. Um, all of these little wispy bends and wires coming off are all different side chains. Those would match the different side chains that you've seen on your um, amino acid table. So there's some little reds here. Those would be my oxygens. Those would be acidic side chains. There's some little blues. This would be like lysine with a bunch of carbons and an amine at the end. And so those side chains are what would attract each other um, to help fold up the tertiary structure. And then also, if I went over here to hemoglobin, and I looked at um, those bonds, which shows all the side chains, then quaternary structure would be held together when, say, a yellow side chain is attracted to a red side chain. That holds those two subunits together. 
um, or a blue side chain is attracted to a red side chain, that would help hold those subunits together. Um, so that's just a few fun things that you can look at um, with MALVIEW and proteins.